I am growing when I apply what I hear. So if it takes me a week or two weeks to apply what I'm hearing, then I can receive the benefits very quickly or early, right? So uh, y'all got to get what I'm saying here. It's the applying what I hear. for joining us today. It's our continual prayer that something has blessed your heart or even changed your life as you listen. It's our vision to share the healing love of Jesus Christ with all who will hear. Would you consider helping us through partnering with us through your giving? Your gift of any amount will help share the gospel of Jesus Christ through this broadcast, Healing the Brokenhearted. And as a special thank you for your gift of $20 or more, we will send you a copy of The Healing Station. Please visit our website at ApostleLarryHearing.com or you can find us on social media. Thank you. And I want you to join me in just thanking the Lord. Can we do that? God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Maybe we can get one of one of these mics here. Let's see. Praise the Lord. Turn your Bibles uh, to Hebrews chapter 11, if you will. Are you there? Amen. All right. Well, we're going to read the first six verses here. And uh, <clears throat> let's read responsibly again. Verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. It was not found because God had translated him for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without, without faith, it's it is impossible, impossible to please him. him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you for this morning. Thank you for the people of God. Thank you for the hope of glory. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord, who God loving us so much. And, thank, and we thank you now and we bless you and we honor you and magnify you. We laud you and extol you. We honor you and we give glory to thy great and wonderful name. Lord, we agree in this atmosphere for the glory of your presence. Lord God, release the power of your loving spirit in this place upon your people now. Break every chain. Break every fetter. Loose every band. 
in the authority of Jesus name we shut down the powers of the enemy that would stifle the flow of your spirit and the name of Jesus Christ of God we forbid it and we cancel its attempt by the authority of Jesus mighty name and we release in this atmosphere the power of our Lord now over this people in the name of Jesus Christ over the airways now Lord God by your spirit be released now to work your plan to work your purpose to encourage to strengthen to heal by your divine power and lord god will give you all the glory and the praise in jesus name and everybody said amen Amen. give him a hand clap of praise hallelujah glory to god thank you praise the lord amen well i ask my wife to maybe see did i ask my wife to join me in the platform here. God has been doing some wonderful things. Uh, how many are, have already, or you are experiencing recovery in your lives or your loved ones? Uh, and if you are not, then expect it to happen. Yes. Hallelujah. And when the Lord released that word recovery, then God means exactly what he said. I I would like for you to just lift your hands for a moment to to receive what he's saying, uh, to receive what the Lord is saying. uh, Recovery, recovery, Lord, recovery, Father. According to your word, Lord, uh, shall it be done unto us. Um, Come on, thank him again. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise God. I woke up this morning, no later than this morning, and I saw in the spirit the word that says faith. And I said, all right, all right. Got there to Suffolk, and to my amazement, Mario had come from overseas and surprised us. And, and in his and his testimony, yes. And so we had a time there, and he got up and said, in his testimony, he said, Uh, without faith it is impossible to please him and I tell you but anyway we we had a time hallelujah God working hallelujah I want you to think with me now right in your situation what is going on in your personal life is God still able can he work in your situation hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah. will you rejoice beforehand or will you wait to see something hallelujah glory to god but if you'll rejoice beforehand in faith and expectation look at somebody say it won't take so long come on give him some praise hallelujah glory Glory, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, I am excited in God, it's just, Lord, it's, it's, it's been good, and he's just been surprising us on the left and surprising us on the right, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, my God, I tell you, we went to Durham and took another couple with us there. And the couple that we took with us, they were, they went by faith. They didn't, they weren't prepared financially, but they went in faith. And to stay overnight, because we agreed it was going to go Friday. Got there, and the Saturday we got ready to check out, so they was counting the dollars and, and the hope. Motel was already paid. The room was already paid for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They wanted to go. And they said, we're going in faith. The Friday night we sat down to eat and they were saying, we've got just enough to take care of some food. And hopefully it won't be too much. 
Friday night, somebody picked up the tab for them. Hallelujah. 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 When, how many know when you're doing for God, you can't be sitting down counting your dollars if God told you to do something. Isn't that right? right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is what my pastor taught me that, uh, in, in Hampton. He said, you don't figure that way. You figure, first of all, you want to settle if, if this is the Lord's will. And you go from there. You don't go and say, I don't have the money. Because God supplies the need. Isn't that right? Yes. Hallelujah. So you go operate in faith. Because without faith. It's impossible. it's impossible to please him. God operates based on his resources. Yes. Isn't that right? Amen. Whether they're supplying it spiritually or emotionally, financially, or whatever need. He operates based on his economy. Yes, and his children must operate based on his economy. Right? Yes. So the judge shall live by faith. So we've been, he, he's been bringing me back to that. It's just been marvelous. And uh, I'm thanking him. So I just want to encourage you today. Shift your eyes. And remember when uh, uh, um, Apostle um, Salyu was here, I think the last time. He said, the Lord said to living word, lift your eyes. Beyond or look beyond the drought. Anybody remember that? That's right. So we got to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying, right? Yes. And we must apply what He's saying. How many know that it's the application yes. that God is concerned about, right? Yes. It's the application yes. of what God says. It doesn't matter. I can hear the word two, three, five, ten years, but until application takes place, I'm not growing. Are you hear what I'm saying? I am growing when I apply what I hear. So if it takes me a week or two weeks to apply what I'm hearing, then I can receive the benefits very quickly or early, yes, right? That's right? So uh, y'all got to get what I'm saying here. It's the applying what I hear. That's what brings the change. Yes. And so if God says, I want you to release and let it go, then what you got to do? You got to release it and let it go, right? Look at somebody say, don't keep hammering with it. Let it go. That's when you begin to see the results of God's. Can somebody give God some praise in the house? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Faith to believe God. Hallelujah. I'm excited here. But I tell you, I asked my wife to come and share with me. And the Lord has been doing something even greater in her life. And I'm excited about it. We were there in Durham yesterday. Some could go and some couldn't, but the ones that were able to go, we all got blessed. And I watched these ladies. They were moving in the power of the Spirit. And I, I, a couple of them, I just got tickled at because I knew that had to be God. Because they are reserved. They wouldn't do anything. They just leave it all to their husbands, the men of God. But on yesterday, I saw them moving out. In the power of the Spirit. Hallelujah. And, um, and uh, Wanda was no less than that. She does move uh, many times, but uh, even on yesterday, she was moving so beautiful. But uh, she has something to share. I want you to listen really closely. Just If you'll just listen closely in the Spirit and hear what she's saying, uh, whatever, how she want to put it, you just say it. Amen. Can you give her your attention? Praise the Lord. Well, I thank the Lord, and God bless everyone. I want to thank the Lord God for his grace, and I want to thank God for the ministry and the healing crusade that we just came out of. Mm -hmm. In the healing crusade, we talked about recovery. Mm -hmm. We talked about the recovering of finances, mm -hmm. relationships, mm -hmm. uh, possessions, Physical healings. Physical healings mm -hmm. and, um, and actually spiritual healings. Yes, yes. And what happened is I, I came every night and I was expecting God to do something. Mm -hmm. I was expecting the recovery mm -hmm. of what the Lord was talking about. Mm -hmm. And so it was amazing that God had 
uh, giving that recovery, mm -hmm. you know, because when you go through so many things for so long, mm -hmm. sometimes you kind of lose heart, mm -hmm. sometimes you get despondent, and sometimes you just don't expect it anymore. Uh -huh. And uh, so I have been, for some years, have been uh, gri uh, griping with my spiritual, um, oh, I I'll put it, make it plain, the anointing. And I didn't know what was wrong, but I knew there was something wrong. Uh -huh. And I have received many healings through the ministry. Mm -hmm. And so when this revival came, I've been pulling on the Lord, talking to the Lord about it. And so every night mm -hmm. we talked about uh, uh, David mm -hmm. and, and his uh, um, encounter at Ziglag when he lost everything. Mm -hmm. And when he lost everything, he... Asked God, went to God and asked if they could, if it could, if it could be recovered, and God told him, "You can recover everything." Uh -huh. And so then the next night he talked about uh, Job, mm -hmm. and Job, and we know the story. Job, how Job was a man; he was rich, mm -hmm. and uh, Satan went to God and uh, concerning uh, Job, uh -huh. and God had enough confidence in Job to know mm -hmm. that he wouldn't, you know, just lose his integrity. Lose his integrity. Because he was a man of great integrity. He was a righteous man. Mm -hmm. And uh so the Satan said, Well let me touch him. Mm -hmm. And God said you can touch everything about him but just don't take his life. That's right. Mm -hmm. So there was he was exposed mm -hmm. for the enemy to do any and everything he wanted to him. Yeah, yeah. And you know, when the enemy come, he attached those things that's closest to you and most dear to you. Yes, yes. And so when God, um, when uh, the enemy tempted uh, Job, he lost everything that he had. Yes, yes, yes. He was a rich man. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then it came to his health, mm -hmm. the enemy even attacked his body. Yes, yes, yes. But God recovered mm -hmm. every and restored everything to Job mm -hmm. that he had lost. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. And so then we talked about on the last night Abraham mm -hmm. and Lot mm -hmm. and how that Abraham uh, had and, and Lot they were had grown so rich in cattle and, mm -hmm. and uh herds and flocks yeah. that their shepherds began to strive with each other. Mm -hmm. And so as a result, Lot, uh, Abraham said, well, Lot, if you take this side of the country, I'll take the other side. Uh -huh. And uh, so they did, and we know the story that Lot chose the best by the natural. Mm -hmm. He chose the best, but anyway, the end of this uh, the, the account with Abraham is he had to go and rescue Lot uh -huh. yeah, yeah. and recovered his flock and, yeah. and everything that the enemy had taken away from him. Yes, God. And so, but he was able to recover Hallelujah. Hallelujah. everything yes. and nothing was lost. Yes, God. Well, at the end of that night, mm. Nothing had happened mm -hmm. that I was expecting. Uh -huh. But I want to tell you about the love of God. Mm. Sometimes we just don't know Hallelujah. what's in us yes. and motivating us. Oh, yes, God. And on that last night, mm. I got attacked by the enemy. Mm. But how many know that all things yeah. work together for yeah. the good? Yes. To them that love the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I got attacked by the enemy and my I was tight. Mm -hmm. And my reaction to a stimulus mm -hmm. was greater than the stimulus itself. Mm -hmm. And so I went home and I uh, then all that next day I started seeking the Lord. I started crying out to God, Lord. I don't know why I responded to the situation like I did, but yes. Lord, I want you to help me. Yes, yes. I cried out to the Lord, yes, and the Lord began to heal mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and bring things up in my memories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Things that I thought God had gotten mm -hmm. uh, hurts. Yes, yes, yes. 
and uh, things in my life that had made me angry mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from 20 years ago or yeah, yeah. uh, 30 years ago. Yes, God. And, uh, and so I had no idea how they had affected me. I thought it was over. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had no clue. Mm -hmm. No clue. Mm -hmm. And uh, But God in his mercy and his love, yeah. he allowed that situation. Yeah. And as I was able to pull on him and cry out to him, mm -hmm. God delivered me My God. from anger. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. My God. He delivered me from deep-rooted anger. Yes, God. In other words, my plumbing was clogged. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so you can't be effective yes, yes. if there's something wrong with your spiritual, yeah. with your spirit. Yes, God. And we, 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 we know how to respond and, and do certain things, but on the inside, you know something ain't quite right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But in this situation, as I cried out to the Lord, he took me, mm -hmm. and every person that hurt me, mm -hmm. he began to show me the situation. Yes, God. And I was able to repent. I even knew the names, you know, 20, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He brought the name. Mm -hmm. I repented. Yes. And, um, and then the next one. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. at the end of that, Hallelujah. he delivered me. Yes, God. Hallelujah. He delivered me. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm not ashamed. I might be on TV, Tower Water, <laughs> but I'm not ashamed of what God, the power Glory. of God, Hallelujah. and what he can do in a life. Hallelujah. And there were three spirits. Mm. I believe one was anger, mm -hmm. one was um, fear. fear, and the last one was jealousy. My God, my God. Mm, 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 mm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. And when he delivered me, mm. I felt a peace and a calm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. And I realized how much God loved us. Yes, God. See, I would have never, I would have could have gone on and on and on mm -hmm. and not know that there was something in my spirit. Yes, yes, God, yes. But when Jesus allow that situation yes out of a week of just an exciting mm -hmm. time in the lord yes yes and on the last night yeah here the enemy come and i got a two mm -hmm. uh, attitude <laughs> yes god tell it like it is now <laughs> i gotta tell i tell you the truth i had an attitude mm -hmm. and that anger came up so mm -hmm. strong i said where in the that. world did this come from yes god mm. But it was God's mercy. Yes, God. Because I would have never known it was there mm -hmm. if it hadn't manifested. Yes. And I tell you, mm -hmm. recovery. Hallelujah. And see, I got delivered, <laughs> but I got some recovery. Yes, hallelujah. <laughs> see, the effect of it was the mm. enemy tried to stifle the anointing. My God. In my life, Jesus. he tried to stifle mm. the, the way God used me and the Jesus. gifts of the Spirit yes. in my life yes. to cause me not to be effective yes, yes. in the kingdom of God. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody recovery. Recovery. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Recovery. Hallelujah. When recovery comes, God restores everything, yes. but better mm -hmm. than the thing that you lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And I tell you, I've been having me a good time in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Well, can I in, 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 in add to this is that the other part is this. She has begun now back on the path of the anointing that God always intended for her that the enemy did not want her to flow in. Yes. And even on yesterday, the power of the Lord flowing through her and, and this morning in Suffolk, it was that confidence in the Holy Spirit's working in her life. Hallelujah. 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 
that I want you to know that when God heals, there's more to it than just being healed and feeling good. And the future is hers in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And the beauty about recovery is this. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. When you are uh, just healed or, or things are restored, mm -hmm. recovery means that there is no remembrance of the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You don't have to go back and refer to what happened 10 or 20 mm -hmm. years ago. Yes. Hallelujah. Because God, when he recovers, yes. he make it better. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Than it was in the past. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory mm -hmm. to God. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. You don't have to be stimulated with doubt and fear and unbelief mm -hmm. and, and how I'm going to make it and mm -hmm. Lord, how you're going to work this situation out mm -hmm. because now you move in faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. And what you know God can do. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus. And now this walk of faith gets, it gets fulfilling. It gets exciting because she's just moving in this new life yes. of faith as God intended. The doubts and the fears and the anger and all of this stuff that keeps getting in the way yes. of simple childlike faith has been removed now yes. and so that she can walk and experience the faith life and the grace that comes with faith. Amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there's some people here today, while she's preaching, the Holy Spirit is talking to me about several ones today. I was like, this is kind of, normally he normally speaks to me either in my prayer time or after I'm finished preaching. But while she's preaching, he's talking to me about people that he want to do something today. Yeah. I just say, God, you are something else. Praise the Lord. Man alive. Hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. God is good saints. I wanted you to hear that for what God has done. There's a new confidence. Yes. There's a new strength that comes from God. Yes, hallelujah. And there's a new dimension of what God is ready to do through her life now. And there are those of us that got calls on our lives. Uh, and sometimes when anger set in, sometimes fear, unforgiveness, whatever it may be, it set in. It starts to stifle you. Yes. You, you, you can't function with the same confidence that you would normally. But I want you to know it's almost like she after she got healed, she was able to say, stand up right like a person. Hallelujah. And God now is able to move in her life. And not only that, but saints, there are others of you that today, yes. recovery is going to take place. And so you're 